Overwatch is just not the same. This was brought about rather recently to me after being spammed on my shorts feed about nostalgia videos about growing up in the 2000s and recollecting where I am now with everyone on their phones and it got me thinking, Overwatch 1 came out in 2016, before COVID, before most of you watching this video were truly into competitive games, when life in general was different. There was six players on a team, two tanks, no roll lock, and the supports were Mercy, Lucio, Zenyatta, and Symmetra. SR was a number. Microtransactions were optional for more loot boxes and skins, and the game felt exciting, but now it doesn't. However, I don't think this is 100% just because the game is worse or whatever everyone is saying. It is more so because players are not playing the game that made them fall in love in the first place. Overwatch 2 is a very different game, and from an objective standpoint, I actually don't think it is all that much worse after deep reflection. There is a more steady stream of content with more accessible options for new players that plays deeper to a casual player base. Not to mention, most of you all that are still watching my videos are still climbing, pushing yourself, and are always discussing in the Discord that you still enjoy playing this game, even if some of the OG players don't, and that is why I still make content. At the end of the day, the game is not the same, and I don't enjoy it the same I did either. But there is something that is different about this community that I still enjoy and love my stay here in Overwatch. What I have realized though is that even though the game has changed, I haven't changed along with it. The content we as a community created together in voice chats recording to help each other climb hasn't changed from the inception of the channel and, after reflection, it is time to change the whole mindset for good. Anyone that has followed my channel for a while has realized that we used to upload twice a week in Overwatch 1, four times or more a week at the inception of Overwatch 2, and now once a week a year later. This was partly due to schoolwork, but also a lack of things to talk about. At this point, I feel as though I have given you all the tools needed in order to reach Grandmaster and beyond. I've run out of useful things to teach you all without bloating your brain with useless information that will make you a worse player. So from here on, I will still push out the guides that I believe are useful, the unranked to GMs when I think I can get them done, but throw out the need to upload every week when the content just isn't good for you. After all, what's the point in making a video that isn't going to be of use just for the sake of uploading? Furthermore, after talking Talking with Coach Mills that I assume many of you are all aware of, we agreed that Overwatch YouTube has an unbelievable lack of creative content. It is all the same thing. Guides or unranked the GMs, clip montages, or guess the SR. I am guilty of falling within the coaching niche, but it isn't fun. I miss the bond I had with our community a year ago, and I believe focusing on the people actually watching our videos is more important than trying to pursue growth anymore. You guys are the reason I'm in the point I am in my life right now, so I'm going to start making content that is more interesting and effective for you all because, honestly, for the past year, I've been letting you down. This is not the end, though. Times are just different. That doesn't mean that the present is better or worse, just that it has changed, and we need to adapt to get the most out of it. Just like a game of Overwatch, as corny as that might sound. So if there are any interesting video ideas that you all have, send them in the comments down below or join the Discord and put them in the designated channel. Uploads will most likely slow down a bit at times, but know that I am shifting my focus from getting a video out on a busy week to slowing down and focusing on delivering the best content possible for you all, because that is what each and every one of you that has got us to this point deserves. This is not the end, just the start of our journey. I'm so proud of how far the Paz Nation has come, and it's only up from here. Thanks for watching, even though I have a crazy bad cold. But until next time, I've got a peace out and Paz out. I'll see you in the next one.